On this edition of My Drive, we talk about 100 Men Who Care with special guest host Ron Fain of the Fain Signature Group and more. Welcome to another edition of My Drive, and we got yes, special guest host Ron Fain of the Fain Signature Group. How are you, buddy? I'm doing good, guy. Thanks for having me. Well, let's let's get right into it because you are here to talk about. 100 Men of Care of Northern Arizona event coming up February 22nd. What do you guys got cooking? And let's remind everybody of what you guys do on a quarterly basis. Well, yeah, I appreciate that. 100 Men is a group of men, 100 only in name. We try to drive as many men and individuals out as we possibly can per quarter event. And what we like to try to do is host, create an event and a space where each man who shows up or person or individual shows up donates a hundred bucks at the door. We have three nonprofits come talk to us. On the 22nd, we're gonna have Good Samaritan, the Marley House, Mm -hmm. which is one of the only nonprofit uh, hospice cares out there. The Susan J. Ream Adult Daycare Center and uh, House of Hope are our three presenters. They're all taking care of uh, the elderly community in uh, in the Quad City area. They have to be Quad City based. And we're looking to raise 10,000 or more dollars for one of these charities. Uh, we'll do an 80, 10, uh, 10 split that day. So if, if we raise $10,000, the, yep. the one group will walk with eight. The other two will walk with $1,000 a piece. And 10, 10 is usually our minimum. Usually we have a lot more people that right. show up and, uh, and some plus givers as well. So I remember you called me down the hallway and you started this, I think was it was it 2019, 2019. Just before COVID. Yep. And you've slowly grown it. And you, now you got a planning committee of like, I think. Eight guys, eight nine guys. guys. Yep. Who are some of those guys? Yeah, we have uh, Scott Dandos, Prescott Glass and Mayor, uh-huh. Judd Simmons, yeah, by County uh, Assessor. We've got Guy Roginson, Talking Glass Media. I just, I never show up for me because I'm just doing the marketing <laughs> behind the scenes. We have Josh Carruthers, Prescott Landscaping Pros. We have Eric um, with... Eric, I can't I, think of uh, that. I have okay. a better, Sorry, oh, Eric. Eric Meinhardt. Eric Meinhardt. Easy Laser Logo. Yeah. Newest, newest He's ad. He's awesome. Newest ad. The Bear. To the men. Uh, Grant Quesada with Founding Fathers. Quesadilla. Yep. Josh, uh, Jacob... Um, Oh, Jacob Tibby. Okay. With uh, Tibby. Founding Fathers. And uh, just uh, as a point there, uh, our our 22nd, the event on the 22nd is at the Point Bar. It's owned by Tibby. Yep. And uh, also our uh, food host will be La Planchata, uh, nice. doing some heavy tacos uh, for the guys. Vivoli's, yep. one of Vivoli's uh, group's uh, uh, restaurants. Yep. Yep. Okay. And so another great, um, great group there. And we're very fortunate. Everybody that, uh, I think I got them all covered. Who am I, who am I missing there? Um, I think I covered everybody. Eric, Josh, Jacob, Grant. Uh, Jace Judd, is always Jace, in there, right? Jacob, yep. Uh-huh. Jacob Tibby, myself, Ron Fain with Fain Signature Group. And, uh, oh, I hope I didn't miss somebody. That's all right. Got it. So for people that want to know more about this or how to register, oh, Pat, you guys like to know about registering, right? Pat Kirkendall. Pat, big Pat. Pat. Pat's been a huge influence for us. So yeah, he has. Happy to have Pat. So to register, people go to uh, 100menwhocareyc.com, right? Because you guys yeah. got to know who's coming for food and stuff. It, it helps. It helps. We don't turn anybody down at the door. If you show up with 100 bucks, you're in. Right. And uh, we take your money, you get a voting ballot, and you get to learn about three nonprofits. Right. Uh, and if you register, it really helps us be more organized. Plus, we get your contact information. We take your cell phone and we take your email address and that's how we communicate uh, future events. That's you know about future events yep. quarterly. So this is a quarterly event. This one takes place February 22nd, 6 p.m. at the Point Bar and Lounge in Prescott. For more information, go to 100menwhocareyc.com. Yep. Correct? Doors awesome. open at five. From five to six, we'll have a social. Event starts promptly at six. And like we- cocktails and light fare for snacks, I'm assuming. Yep. And uh, no host bar. So okay. you, you got to buy your own, you got to buy your own beer. Okay. Um, and we're finished by seven. It's always on a Thursday night. So you're home, you're home by 7, 15, 7, 30. This is, uh, this is how we make a difference in the, in community. the community for those that are standing in the gap of the wall, which are these non, these three nonprofits, the Susan J. Ream Adult Center, uh, the uh, Marley House through Good Sam and House of Hope. So just to reiterate, 
if you're a dude or you identify as a dude or a manly man and you want to make a, a, a difference in the community, what I like about it, I think what most guys like about it is that it's quick, it's de- decisive, mm-hmm. and you see it make a difference. And there's follow-ups, right? Like the nonprofits come back the next quarter mm-hmm. that participate and they share about how the dollars have impacted because these, these folks are receiving anywhere from 5,000 to 10,000 more in dollars in support from the community. And then what, how they invested it. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. This is usually money that is not on their budget that they get. Uh, they don't have to host an event. So it goes right to whatever cause that they want to support in that particular organization. They've got no overhead and everybody who comes in, if you come in with a hundred dollars, it's an opportunity to leverage that hundred dollars into ten, fifteen thousand right. dollars, and a hundred percent of those proceeds That's will like go it. to those nonprofits that evening. We're fortunate we get uh, sponsorship coverage for every single event. So we just we just host the space in the event and right. uh, collect the money up front just for some drama right. and create some excitement and say, hey, we've got 100 guys here. We've raised $15,000 and here's where it's going. So talk about drama, big drama. To date, 100 Men of Care has raised over $230,000. We're actually 250000 So a quarter million bucks, even through COVID, you guys in the committee were able to do yeah, that. To, That's to, awesome. And all, all two nonprofits that serve the Quad City area. Ron Fain, Fain Synergy Group. Great job, buddy. And uh, kudos to the team uh, that work with you guys. Um, that's awesome. I'm looking forward to it. And again, it's if you've never gone, come 100menwhocareyc.com for more information. You're in, you're out. You have a couple of cocktails. You meet some great dudes. Um, and you can see right where your dollars go right away. That's that's my favorite part of it. Yep. It's, it's a great program. Awesome. Moving on, because you're going to help us out with top events and news uh, for the week here on My Drive. I'll cover uh, Valentine's Romantic Impressions with the Prescott Pops. Before we get to it, that's tomorrow. Don't Or that's today. Ooh, I, I got to watch that. You got something planned with uh, the lovely wife, I hope? You know Don't what? Forget. Yeah, no, Darlene is every day is Valentine's Day with oh, Darlene. Oh, good answer. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Mrs. Faye's got you trade. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Every day's every day's Valentine's Day. I'm the most blessed married man in the in the area. She's a very nice lady. Yeah. Um, just a hint for you. I've, you know, had roses delivered when we go to Essence. Uh, we go there a lot because we live in Chino. And it's close, and the food's fantastic. But they they've partnered with a, a flower company that delivers to the table there, and by far, because I've had them come to the house, by far the best flowers. And this is a, a paid plug. By far is it was the watering can, I believe it's called, and they have amazing flowers. So just a heads up, guys, if you're in the doghouse. Or it's just Valentine's Day, which usually we are all in one or the other. Uh, the watering can is a, is a really good place. So Valentine's Romantic Impressions with Prescott Pops on Sunday, February 25th at 3 p.m. at the Jim and Linda Lee Performing Arts Center in Prescott. Uh, Prescott Pops brings Romantic Impressions, a thoughtful collection of music showcasing the different kinds of love. So if you need a little help setting the mood, Prescott Pops is coming up. February 25th. You want to cover number three there, Mr. Fade? Yo, I have I think to do, that's the gardening. Yeah, gardening for newcomers. It'll be this Saturday, February the 17th, from 9.30 a.m. to 10.30 a.m. at Waters Garden Center in Prescott. Uh, Waters Garden Center is right there off of uh, Iron Springs Road. Yep. And uh, he's just uh, done a tremendous job. In he slays the, it. Oh, it's just a, it's a great, it's a great nursery. It's a great uh, center to get your plants and your Yep. and uh, trees and everything, and they educate you there. It's it's the education. So um, Ken Lane and Lisa Lane of Waters Garden Center, their clients at Talking Glass Media, they're just in there for their annual. We always round up how things went. His podcast on our podcast network grew like 600%. Um, but he's, he's not a gardener. What he is is a information provider. He's like an expert. And they just did one. I don't know. They must have been listening to my phone because literally I said to my wife, hey, I want to get like bags of wildflower. 
and just dump them all over mm. the property to see if they take. And I, seriously, I had this conversation. And what would be good for our goats? Because we don't want to, you know, feed them nightshade or something like that. And literally the next week, his podcast at the Waters Garden Center for Mountain Garter was on when to drop wildflowers, which is like right now. And he's got a whole podcast on that. So almost daily or weekly, we're publishing something from the Waters Garden Center on what's the best flowers or what's good, what's bad, how to plant up here because mm -hmm. it's difficult. Mm -hmm. The soil is really difficult. Um, so Ken and Lisa Lane of the Waters Garden Center, Gardening for Newcomers, February 17th. What else we got? What's number four on our list? Um, podcast update. So as you know, Ron, mm -hmm. we've launched cast11.com podcast network and one of our newest uh, podcast partners is John Lonis of Auto Works Repair and Service here in Prescott Valley on the highway in a big way. And uh, monthly he provides us stuff. So this one was timely. He released, should I warm up my car in the morning? Do you? I do. I'm I'm up. I mean, you've got I'm, some miles on that I'm beast. I'm up early. I've got that Dodge, uh, that cold blooded uh, diesel Dodge, <laughs> uh, 95 Cummins, and uh, I'm out there at 5:40 in the morning, and I turn that bad boy on. I'm going. I'm at the gym at six, so I'm not leaving it on for that long. But if right. I don't warm it up, it's just not. It doesn't want to go. It doesn't want to go. No. So it's probably because it's older. They're saying that you don't necessarily have to warm them up, but if I hit the gas hard and it's cold. It sounds funny. So I'm just saying, uh, they're like old men. You, you know, give them some time. It is out of habit. That's a good comment because right. out of habit, my wife has a newer car, 2017, and just out of, out of habit, I want to go warm it up before she just races does she does, down. Does she do a remote no, start? She, she doesn't. We don't have that. But uh, and, are, and she that's just, a pretty sweet she feature. jumps in and goes. But I feel like, oh, I need to get this thing warmed up just a little bit because I know she's going to yep. put the gas to it and head on out. So your next truck, you got to get heated seats. And remote start because I've gotten pretty used to it. It's nice to have a warm car when you jump in. Anyways, um, so you're a Dodge guy. Is your next truck going to be a Dodge? <laughs> you could have a, we could have a whole debate. We should have John in here and he should, um, sit between you and Brad well, I, and you guys should argue the, 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 the four yeah, Dodge exactly. argument. Exactly. I swore up and down. I would never own a Dodge when I was in high school. You know, I was a Chevy guy through and through. Okay. And then, you know, in college I got a Ford and I'm like, well, there's no point in buying a Dodge. And here I am owner of a, uh, of a Dodge. With how many miles? Uh, exactly. Two over 200,000. Still going strong. Yeah. Yeah. But it's it's a it's a Cummins it's a it's a unicorn truck so okay it's, it's all right so are you gonna stay with Dodge or are you gonna go you gonna jump over to Ford you know or I'm, a Chevy go I'm, back I'm to Chevy I'm pretty simple I'm pretty simple I like it uh, it's I, got four wheels it's got four wheels I can you know drive in and nobody notices they're like oh there's a stinky loud Dodge and you know and then I'm I just I'm under radar okay. Cool. So speaking of driving, this isn't much of a segue. You got, you want to do, I know, you know, Prescott uh, police chief, Amy Bonney was named Arizona chief of the year. And I think of driving because that's the only time I interact with cops is when I get pulled over usually, unfortunately. But, um, you want to talk about that? What a, she's awesome. Yeah, what a great honor. Chief Bonnie was nominated by her peers and was selected based on her accomplishments as a law enforcement leader, her services to the association, and most importantly, her service to community. Yep. Amy is a huge uh, community supporter, always has been. She shows up, yep. gives a lot of her time for a lot of worthy causes. The nomination included several accomplishments over the past two years, including the facility for the canine program in Prescott's Victim Services Unit. Mm -hmm. The PPD was the first agency with the Epa County with a full-time facility canine that is also responsible for assisting victims of violent crimes. I think one of my favorite parts of our community, and I'm not just saying it is our law enforcement, whether it's Prescott, PVPD, or even Chino Valley, they're all great people. I've gotten to know them all. All very cool. Mm -hmm. I got pulled over by a petter in Prescott Valley. He was really cool. I was rushing to a lion, early bird lions meeting and I didn't want to be late to be charged the dollar for being late. Oh man. I'm not, and I was, I wasn't paying attention. And he pulls me over. He goes, what are you doing? I'm like, I wasn't paying attention. I'm bad. Go ahead. Right. But he goes, well, where are you going? I'm like, 
I didn't want to be charged the dollar for the press game, for the fine. Just get out of here and slow down. Anyways, it's all really cool community. What makes it up is our first responders and PD. So very cool stuff. I'm sure it is and well deserved. And they all deserved. work well together. All the departments interact well with the, with each other. They interact well with uh, the fire disciplines, yep. CAFMA and the, and the Prescott Fire Department. We all know them. The agencies go out of their way to make sure that they're communicating well, that they're coordinating well, all for the benefit of us, us citizens Dig so them. that uh, that they we're getting the, the response time that we need uh, from the closest. Uh, yep. And that includes the Sheriff's Department as well. Yeah, and I know that this region, both Prescott and Prescott Valley, have been named some of the safest uh, municipalities mm-hmm. to live in over the years here in Arizona, in well in with the top five, top ten. So that says a lot about our PD and our fire departments. Uh, jumping back over to Prescott Valley, into the woods, Saturday, February 17th, 3 to 5 p.m. at the Prescott Valley Performing Arts, which is that building right next to the Finley Toyota Center, Detour Company Theater presents the Sondheim fairy tale classic, which follows three classic storybook characters and their stories intertwined for a boisterous, happy ever after. Free admission, reserve your seat at www.pvperformingarts.weebly.com. Looks like they got one of those free websites. We need to help them out. Um, so, PV Performing Arts Center, again, and right next to the Finley Toyota Center. It's always got great things to take the family to. Yep. Check them out this February 17th. What do you got? You got something with uh, Sandra Bassett. Yeah, an evening with Sandra Bassett, uh, Cabaret, Friday, February the 16th from 7 to 9 at the Jim and Linda Lee Performing Arts Center in Prescott. Sandra Bassett and her band take you on a journey of jazz standards, gospel, and the blues, performing songs that you know and love. For tickets, visit the www.ycpac.com. Is it me or is we start, we're starting to see better venues, better acts, whether it's at the Jim and Linda Lee Performing Arts Center, Prescott Valley Performing Arts Center, Finley Toyota Center just had Clint, was it Clint? Clint Black. Clint Black. We've got uh, a huge act coming up in the summer. Um, sorry? Lanny Wilson. Lanny Wilson. Sold course, out already. Sold out already. Um, of course, every summer during July 4th weekend, we got the Prescott Rodeo. Uh, got a lot going on. There's just uh, a lot of talent and musical talent and theatrical talent that yep. lives in the Quad City area. And uh, they put on great shows. Yep. Not to mention we have, I think it was at seven outdoor dog-friendly patios right here in Prescott Valley. So you can grab a cocktail, grab a Buy to eat, go to a concert or a theater. So what do we got going on here? Another go bouncing back to Prescott, talking about things to do. Valentine's Day at the zoo. Buy one, get one admission Wednesday, February 14th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. at the Heritage Park Zoological Sanctuary. Share your love of the zoo with buy one, get one free admission on Valentine's Day. For tickets, go to heritageparkzoo.org. Great so, fun with the kids and the family fun. and the grandparents. We, let, uh, you know, Darlene's got twelve grandkids, so it's one of our favorite places to go. Is so the, you've uh, got basically twelve grandkids. The, the zoo, you bet. So yep. you got the zoo at the Fane House. And it, it's a, it's, <laughs> it's a, well, you know, they're not always there, but when they're there, it's it's, it's a great blessing. And the That's Prescott fun. Zoo is just a great great place to go with with little kids. It's very walkable. Every and, time I go, it just gets getting better i think yeah. pam mclaren is still the director over there she does a fantastic job i do highly recommend it. i'm usually not a zoo guy but it, it's small enough to be like an experience it's mm-hmm. just it's really nice yeah i remember having my son there when he was just about knee high and the tiger that they had uh just roared yeah and he was standing through the i think he was petrified for a moment i've seen just, that tiger just, up close it is frightening it was, uh, i went over there and hugged him and he was like oh you know, big kitty. <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> yep. It was uh, it was impressive. Uh, you want to cover number nine, third yeah, Friday? Yeah, Friday. Friday, the Chamber Music. Friday, February 19th. Uh, no, excuse me. Friday, February 16th, 3 to 4 p.m. at the Prescott Public Library. Hear music from the local chamber players and special guests during the third Friday Chamber Music Series. Learn more. Uh, log in to the www.prescottlibrary.info. 
Moving on to entertainment. What's the last movie you remember watching? Oh, you're going to ask me this. Of course I am. You know, the, I, what was the last movie I ended up watching? Was Probably that, a kid's movie if you have your grandkids over yeah, all the time. Yeah, no, but that, but that wasn't the last movie. You occasionally stream something at home. Yeah, with wife you know. Or? Well, I watched the Super Bowl. We had we had a big family over for the Super that Bowl. That was a so good we, game. We did that. We we saw, you know, Taylor Swift Bowl was uh, uh, secured by the Chiefs this year. Right. And uh, but that uh, was if you're not a if you're not a football fan and you watch that game if you don't become a football fan after something like that. I mean, that was a good so game. So here's the deal. We're watching the game back and forth. The kickers are just doing amazing jobs and kicking from distances longer. 50, I think it was 57. 55 or? and 57. They that, had, they huge. owned the scoreboard. You know, yep. Each kicker owned the scoreboard. There was a touchdown here and there. And I was looking over at uh, some of the other f family and I said, you know who the MVP is because you can participate that in the Super Bowl. Right. And I said, it ought to be one of the kickers. Yep. They'd never get it. But to right. me, I thought. Who you was know, the MVP? Because I cut out after. I didn't watch oh, the end. Yeah. It was uh, Patrick Mahomes. Was it really? But yeah, I would have given it to a kicker. But right? I think they set uh, they set the record longest Super Bowl field goal. They that, did. Uh, yeah. It was definitely Crazy. a kicker's game. Ridiculous. Yeah. It was. It was a kicker's game. It was. A, it was very unique. It made a difference. Yep. Yep. No, I, I think also I was reading it was the largest viewership of the like 127 million people or something like that. So my daughter is, she's 25. She's been a Taylor Swift. I took her to a Taylor Swift concert when she was okay. young. Her and a bunch of her little uh, friends uh, years ago when Taylor was uh, just starting off. Just and starting so out. now, and, and at age 25, she lives over in Dallas. She's been there for three years working for a, 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 a computer software okay. firm and a big Swift fan. And, and she watches football now. And now, so Swift brought her into football and, and now I have a another way to connect with my daughter it's all there you I, go. I, to me i think that's it's good. why the nfl likes showing taylor swift right all that crossover marketing the people that aren't necessarily football fans are now going to become football fans speaking of a uh, uh female singing um um crossovers i met katie perry in santa barbara in the not 80s, late 80s, early 90s, she, her parents went to my mom's church in Santa Barbara mm -hmm. and were friends. And Katie was just starting out and she was singing at church. Oh, wow. And it was during my grandfather's funeral. Mm -hmm. And I read a poem of my grandfather and then she sang. And I remember looking over and her, she was a cute girl back then. And boy, could she sing. And I, ne I never spoke to her or anything like that, but that I didn't realize that till later. My mom told me, you realize that was Katy Perry because when she became famous, my mom said that was Katy. And I think she talks to her parents every now and then. My mom lives here now in Prescott, but that was my brush with fame oh, back, that's awesome. back in the day. What a great story. Yeah, just started off singing churches and, and all that kind of fun stuff. Um, so I was asking you, what have you watched lately? Because we're going to cover um, the latest uh, Admit One movie review on SignalsAZ.com. Dumb Money, movie review of Dumb Money based on the Antisocial Network by Ben Mesrich. The movie plays things safe by not aiming for the stars, but setting the humble goal of recounting events that occurred during a particularly tumultuous period in world history. I have not watched it. Uh, research guy, have you watched it? I haven't watched it, but it's about all the um, AMC GameStop stock weirdness okay. from like peak COVID. There's this big wave of people getting like stimulus checks and the social media waves of people taking like shorts and weird stock positions like really swayed the market. So there's like guys sitting at home in their basements making millions of dollars. And this is the story of how a lot oh, of that started. Okay. Uh, yeah. well, that sounds interesting. It is. Knowing, yeah. Knowing that review of dumb money. Yeah. It's going to be like a new version of like the big short. Okay. It's, yeah. It's Which a, I saw. the millennial social media version of that. Yeah. So since, since Ron hasn't watched anything lately, cause he's always busy. What have you watched yeah. lately? Um, Movie besides NFL. Uh, I saw Poor Things in the theater. How was that? Very adult movie, but very good. Yeah. Okay. Very um, tackles a lot of like taboo subjects in very funny ways. It's great. 
Emma okay. Stone is, is it, really is good it making it. fun of those subjects, or is it more like a Barbie which tackled a lot of different? A little bit, a much more adult version of that. Like, there's lots of explicit themes throughout the movie. Okay, but it's a lot of yeah, talk Poor about things. Yeah, that's yeah, on yeah. Amazon or Netflix or something, something like, like that. that. Yeah, up for okay. awards this year. Really good. So we got a we got a movie review into this, and then uh, wrapping it up. Ideal of the week, your deal of the week by Prescott Fine Arts, ten percent. At ten percent off any group of three or more for the same art class, or ten dollars off any art class. So your idealios of the week is brought to you by Prescott Fine Arts. That's all I got, Ron. Besides that, uh, just to recap, Hundred Men Who Care. Why don't you uh, plug it one more time for 100 us? Hundred Men Who Care, February twenty second at the Point Bar and Lounge, uh, sponsored by uh, Peter Tibby and Jacob Tibby, and also La Planchada is the going to be the food provider Yum. for that event doors open at five o'clock in prescott the point bar the event starts at six if you got a hundred dollars and you want to make a difference in your community and support one of these nonprofits, this is a great way to learn about what they're doing learn how you can get involved either as a volunteer or as some kind of benefactor to one of these organizations we host these events quarterly and all the money stays in the quad city area and a hundred percent of your dollars will be leveraged in a hundred bucks we're going to leverage that into 10 12 fifteen thousand dollars so show up register at a hundred men who care hundred men who care yc.com sweet ron fain fain Senior group thanks for being our special guest host on my drive we'll watch out for those roundabouts see ya see ya thank you uh,